Hello, well, this is Dr. Dave Masak from Reciprocity.com, a sharing economy proofreading platform that I'm trying to build. The E is spelled with a three. And in this particular video, I really, really wanted to talk about how to finish a difficult project. And I also think life is always about doing these difficult projects is an integral part of doing life, living life, of being around and doing things and having fun is always about doing very difficult projects that you think you can never accomplish. So this video is really for those people that are feeling awful, they're in the middle of doing something that's really, really difficult and they're just overwhelmed, they don't know what to do, where you just feel emotionally drained. I mean, there's a lot of different things that are like this, right? So like a, paying off a big debt, finishing graduate school, writing a big paper, you know, studying for the GMAT, getting that first big job, being in between jobs where you're laid off and you're trying to look for something and you got to apply to 100, 200, 300 different jobs. There are so many things like this in life that are so difficult. Raising a kid, raising a, a small little baby and bringing them up into something that is, is miraculous, is miraculous. It is so difficult sometimes. You're so overwhelmed, you don't know what to do and you're just like, you're, you're, you're just pulling your hair out, right? And you feel, you, there's one or two reactions that you have when you're feeling like that. You feel either you're pulling out your ha hair and you don't know what to do or you just feel really down. And you're just, you're, you're just in that situation where you just feel awful and you can't get out of bed. And I really want to help you out with this particular video because I think and I am convinced that everything in life that is really meaningful and that is special to you, it is very, very difficult in life. It will give you a sense of accomplishment and joy once you finish that particular thing. Once you complete it, you are going to experience something that is miraculous that a lot of people are not going to be able to feel because they didn't go through that process, right? That's the whole point of doing something that's diff difficult. Very few people are going to be able to do that particular thing. That the thing that you're doing, that you set out to do, it means that a lot of people chose not to do that because it was so difficult. And once you complete that, you know that you can actually get this thing done. And there's so many more things that you can get done in your life. I really want you to focus on this. Imagine there's two ways to get through this difficult situation that I have learned and they've really applied. They've been very helpful for me. They've been very good for me in terms of understanding what I should do next and how I should sort of pursue the world. The first one is focusing on how it's going to feel, what it's going to be like, what are you going to do once you complete that particular task. I want you to imagine the people around you. How are they going to feel? What are they going to do? What are they going to say? What are What is the situation going to be like? Are you going to be better off once you complete this particular thing? I really want you to envision that. Keep that in mind. Have that thing that you are imagining in your mind as you're pursuing that particular task. That's going to get you through many different stages that are so difficult. You're going to think, if I can only get this done, I can get it. I can get to this particular stage in my life. Now, I have to warn you, if you're envisioning this, that there's going to be something miraculous and everything's going to come together and that is going to be the easiest situation once you've completed that thing, that is not true. What's going to happen is you're going to realize that there's another project at the end of it and that project's going to be bigger. But the cool thing is, is you're going to know once you got to that point, you've done that entire thing that you thought you couldn't do. You're in a moment in your life you thought you couldn't do, but you did it because you had this moment in your life of, wow, I can get this thing done. I want you to really think about that, envision it, that thing that you're getting done. When you complete that particular task, you can move on to something else. As you move on to something else, you know that you can rely on, you've already done this in the past. It's so easy to do. I've done it in the past. 
I've done this difficult task, I can do the next thing and get that done. Just have that in mind. The second thing that you should be thinking about or you should try to imagine is that pain you feel, that difficulty, that gut feeling, that thing that makes you feel so overwhelmed that you can't get out of bed or that you're just angry at the world. Guess what? That pain is a wonderful thing. That is called life. That is the moment when you're growing and developing and you're learning and you're becoming a better person at that moment. Because guess what? Nobody else can do that particular thing that you're doing. As you're working on this, know that many people have tried that thing that you're doing, tried to climb that mountain, tried to get up that giant, giant mountain that nobody thought they can get done or they thought that they were too good to do or they thought that it was, you know, it wasn't a worthwhile cause. But guess what? You can get that thing done, whatever it is. Maybe you want to become an entrepreneur and you're struggling at this moment. You can get that done. Maybe you're creating something that nobody else has created before. You can get that done. Whatever it is, you can get that done. And it's important to think about getting to that moment that you can get it done, in that moment where you feel pain, whatever it is, if you're in graduate school, if you're in, heck, if you're in high school and you're grinding away to try to get into university, to try to get into college and you're studying all the time and you're focused on trying to study all the time, know that this is a moment where you are developing so much, you're developing your skills, you're developing your knowledge, it's going to be a pain, it's going to be very difficult to do, but that moment is where you can get so much done and things start clicking and it's a magical experience when that happens. It is a joyful experience when that happens. I want you to think about that and as you're grinding away, turn that frown upside down, focus on how it is growing and developing you as a person. Make sure that you are smiling as you're doing this, as you're singing as you're doing this. Simple things like that. I know it seems really, really strange if you're sitting there studying, if you're working away, if you're at the office late, whatever you're doing, it seems strange that you're smiling and grinning to yourself and you think that's crazy, but guess what? That's gonna change your mood, it's gonna make you feel really better, and it's gonna make you associate this particular task that you're doing with something that's very positive. And that positive thing is going to keep you going longer and further than everybody else. I mean, you can watch old videos of people going through the Marines and they're going through hell week, right? It's a really difficult time in their life and they just start clicking and they start working together as a team where they start thinking in terms of, I can get this thing done. Before that, they couldn't get it done. They start banding together as a team. Their mind shifts, it shifts and they start focusing on all the wonderful things that they can do together. That is a completely wonderful experience and that all it took was this mind shift that you just have to think positively, do silly weird things like smiling, have fun, do weird things. That's really important in terms of getting that particular difficult task done. Focus on getting that task done. Focus on, on, on the experience that you have that it's a very joyful experience. It's not as much as a grind as you think it is. This will help you get things, get that done. Now, that's really all I wanted to talk to you about in this particular video. I wanted you to focus. I know that a lot of you are doing these very difficult things in your life right now. I really wanted to give you some motivation as much as I possibly could. And I want to give you those two tips. The first one is envision what it's going to feel like once you get there, once you do that difficult task. You can do that. You can actually get to that difficult task. Just keep pushing at it, keep grinding away. The second thing is make sure that you are taking joy in that painful process. Imagine that that's a wonderful thing. You're growing as a person by doing that difficult project process. Keep that in mind. If you have to keep watching this video, that's fine, right? That's going to help you out. I really want, I know that this is gonna help you out. It motivates me to see other people coach me and keep keep me going forward. And that's all I want to do. That's all I wanted to say with this particular video. If you like this video, make sure you do watch the other ones. You can do the old thumbs up and I can start doing more of these kind of things as well. Um, you know, whatever you would like, act, make sure you add comments if you want to help out. Go on to the Reciprocity Project. The E is spelt with a three. So I'm trying to help out graduate students as much as I possibly can. 
by creating this particular service and, and it helps out writers as well and, and editors, proofreaders, because it's a service where you can go on there and you can get some editing done. And as long as you're using the surface, as long as you're using it within the system, it's going to be completely free. If you want to take money out of the system, convert the, the credits to cash, then there's going to be system charge to pay for the maintenance of the system, right? So um, that's all I wanted to say. Make sure you keep doing what you're doing. Grind away at that thing. It is possible for you to get this done. Just keep doing it. Focus. Do whatever it takes to get that thing done. All right. Well, take care. Have a good day. And I'm really looking forward to seeing you on the next video. Bye.